first path is path of bhakti that is love path of that is what is this love we all talk about love but swami wants us to know the difference between worldly love and divine love what is the difference divine love is eternal it is always there divine love is unconditional divine love is selfless and it is never demand anything it doesn't have any agenda of its own whereas worldly love is temporary it is conditional it is self selfish it is ever changing that is why swami says real joy you'll get only through divine love i remember one time we were in vrindavan so swami was standing and he was taking pictures with the students they were going one after another next standing next to swami picture we all went one after another and then swami take then swami says see see god is always there he never change the people come and go come and go come and go that is the difference divine love is always there worldly love comes and goes then why we are not able to have this divine love swami says there are two major obstacles we have one is finding faults in others even jesus said don't look at the speck in somebody else's eye look at the beam in your own own eye and swami said beautifully when you show a finger towards somebody you are showing three fingers towards yourself so plainly finding faults in others make prevents us to develop divine love second is criticism of others that also is a great sin so whenever you criticize somebody for no reason so your good karma will go to them and their bad karma will come he said no i won't criticize but somebody else is criticizing me what to do thank them because their good karma is coming to you your bad karma goes to them so we should not be affected by criticism and have this finding faults with others this is very important these are the obstacles for us to develop the uh, divine love then how do you know we have divine love there are two important swami signs swami said that is why in his first letter on may 25th 1947 swami wrote to his brother because he was worried about him he didn't say my brother he said bhaktulaku that means it is ever for everybody this particular letter is preserved in the chaitanya jyoti there he said manchi cheddalu kuda samamuga bhavinchute bhakti naaku the definition of bhakti he said not doing thousand japa doing 10 hour meditation or uh, doing so much service he said treating everything as same the praise and blame honor and dishonor and profit and loss if you can take it with the same attitude then that is bhakti that is equanimity because everything we should take as a sign of his grace so how to develop this divine love number 1 swami said you need to give priority to god in your in our life number 1 priority should be god so swami says if you want to have joy in life j jesus first o others next why yourself last or sai if you want to have in life yes sai first in your life y all others next that little i last then you will have we need to have priority in life for god we give priority for other things 